Hi, this is Sohini from Double Lab, and in the second part of the series, we'll learn how to create API routes. Next.js is an open source development framework that enables rendering React apps on the client or on the server. Since version 9, Next.js can be used to build APIs with Node.js, Express, GraphQL, and so on. Next.js uses the file system to treat files inside the folder pages slash API as API endpoints, meaning that now you will be able to access your API endpoint on the URL localhost 3000 slash API slash your file name. We still have a big question here. Why use Next.js to build APIs when we already have REST and GraphQL as better solutions? Why would need a framework, a React framework to build APIs? The answer is, Next.js API routes allows you to extend your Next.js app by adding a backend to it. For an API route to work, you need to export a function as default, that is request handler, which then receives the following parameters. So for request, it's an instance of HTTP incoming message plus some pre-built middlewares. And response, that is RES, is an instance of HTTP server response plus some helper functions. For new projects, we can build our entire API with API routes. If we have an existing API, we do not need to forward calls to the API through an API route. So now let's build two API routes. For now, we'll just display a very basic text in both the routes, but over the tutorials, We'll be using index.js of REST fetch and graph fetch folders to fetch repositories from our GitHub topic, that is Alexis code template using REST API and GraphQL. To get started, we'll go back to our next app and inside our API folder, we'll create two folders named graph fetch and rest fetch along with index.js to define APIs for our application. Here, our benefits are we do not need to write any additional custom server code and configure any API routes. Inside index.js, we'll need to create and export a function and we'll keep it default. This will be handling the incoming request. REQ stands for request and RES stands for response. Dot status is a function that sets the status code and dot JSON function is used to return a JSON response. That's all. Our API route is set up. Now we run yarn dev. As we go to localhost 3000 and navigate to this endpoint, API slash graph fetch, we can see a response. Now we'll do the same for rest fetch. Here, you can see the demo now. That's all for this video. In our next video, 
we'll be creating a REST API that pulls all the data from the GitHub topic Alexa skill template. Thanks for watching.